hey guys happy sunday sunday fun day it's not really sunday fun day anymore like before before anything i remember always going out on sundays going downtown and just doing nothing literally just downtown doing sunday fun day with friends you know like now i'm like that was a lot of money wasted on sunday fun day that it's probably not worth it um so anyway um i'm just honestly i just felt like talking today i want to just give you a little update um i know that last time no i was uh hospitalized and I told you about all those complications that I had and I was sick um so that's passed but I did finish my fifth round of radiation um because we did one like I said one for the brain five for the lymph nodes right here and I think I don't know if they went lower but that's what I'm gonna talk about right now um Yeah, so on Monday was my last day of radiation. And maybe I am push myself too much to, like, be independent. And which, if I can do it, why not, right? Um, I don't want what, like, I don't know. I just don't want anyone... To like feel sorry for me you know and and so anyway I, I'm on the go 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 um so Monday I was done with radiation but I continued to be on the go it was cold outside I went and got my kids from school so they could get their flu shots um because the doctor recommend that they get them just for my sake um so we did that so that night was fine, but then Tuesday, come Tuesday, I was freaking out. I, my throat, like I couldn't talk. Um, my chest was really, really heavy. Like it was hard to breathe in. I could breathe, but the more I would try, the hurtful, the more hurtful it would be and more painful, like pressure. Um... And then, you know, my neck was hurting, just all these complications. And I felt like this is like weird. I don't feel right. Um, but I stuck it out and I, you know, I laid around the house. I didn't eat. I was actually throwing up. Um, but I called my doctor the next day and she said it was the effects of the radiation. I mean, why wouldn't, you know, your five time radiation um back to back probably could do some damage you know um so i didn't feel right but now it's been a week and um i hope that these aren't still the side effects of radiation i still have the like um like scratchiness in my throat when my throat was coming back you know my my voice and stuff um but they did say that would be it's just so much that I think about. But I've been lacking energy. Like, I've been not as hungry. Um, and I'm just still praying. Praying that this is just the side effects of the radiation. Um, there's just so much still that I want to do. And that I want to accomplish. That... I really think, like, those days when I was sick, I thought this is it. My son was on vacation, and I was laying there, and my mom kind of looked worried. And um, I said, this is it. Like, it just feels weird. I feel sick. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God that I got out of that. But right now... I still feel kind of weak. Um, I did go to church today. 
but um, I felt a little nauseous. I think it was because it was a lot of people and like my head was like, it was too much at the, at the same time, you know. Um, so it's hard, you know, it's been hard. And, but I've been trying to push myself to just be on the go and to get up and get energy and to to like try to get movement in my body because I feel like I'm losing a lot of muscle mass and even though I was never muscular like I'm so skinny um I'm losing all that you know so I don't I don't want to do that I want to get better you know so my thoughts are I need to keep fighting. I need to keep fighting. I need to keep going. I need to get up and do something. I need to fight. Like, God is with me. What else? Nothing can stop me, right? Like, but I've been at home without the kids. And, you know, you start thinking stuff. And you start looking at yourself. And you start reminiscing and things like that. And I think this is normal. You know, you look back at your life and you just start thinking like, wow, I took advantage of life. I took it for granted. I didn't cherish like all the memories and the times that I should have cherished, you know. And this is where I feel like I'm conflicted with good and evil. Like, I feel like good is pushing me and pushing me and then once you have one bad thought it's like you're reeling yourself into like negativity and I don't want to do that I do not want to do that so anyway I'm just talking um I just wanted to give you that update that I did feel weird and right now like I could I could take deep breaths I could breathe but um you know the doctor said if there's any anything any complications like if I just feel like I can't breathe then I need to call the ambulance or go to the ER um thank god that I'm not feeling like that oh I wonder if you guys notice anything from the background because I had a lot of you complain that it was irritating it was annoying this and that <laughs> Trust me, it was to me too. But that finally got done. Sorry, guys. That it was just so bad. Yes, my fire alarm thing detector. Um, so, anyway. You can't hear it anymore. So, I just wanted to get on here. Um, talk about life i think i'm gonna do a video for each and every one of my kids um and just just a video a, a video talking to them a video that they could look at and look back and say that was my mom i'm so proud of her you know and even though i don't feel like it's my time I think there's times where we have to think about this we're all going there you know and we don't have things planned we probably don't have life insurance we probably don't have a will we probably you know anything can happen from here to tomorrow like I might have cancer but I might die of something else you know so we need to stop and think about life and about what your plans are because if there's no plans I feel like there's gonna be conflict when it does come and that's how I think families get into fights and feuds and and decision making and everyone thinks they can make a decision no I think it's I think it's good to know to have planned and even though you're healthy um it's probably something you should think of but let's not talk about that anymore. I just wanted, like I said, to tell you just my quick little update. I 
I'm doing fine, but I think I could do better. So, thank you guys for always checking up on me. I love your comments. Even the funny ones like change your detector or giving me thumbs down for I don't know what. But I don't, I mean, like I said, I'm not here to be popular. I'm not here for anything. I'm just here because I wanted to make videos of the journey that I started um, in 2017. And now praying to God to get that miracle and that, that we can finally celebrate victory soon. And I'm still a believer. So thank you guys for watching and we will talk soon. Please comment. I love your comments. Happy Sunday.